Hi Silhouetters, this is Doodling Debbie from the Silhouette Plus Forum again. Um, I wanted to show you a little uh, thing that you can do. Some of you don't have any photo imaging or editing software and I wanted to show you how you can still work with your photos in Silhouette. Okay, I'm using the Designer Edition. I love it because of the eraser. The eraser is resizable. So we're going to get started, first of all. Brought in this uh, picture of my beautiful little granddaughter. And um, I want to make this picture kind of an oval shape. Let me move my oval up here. And get her in just about right there. So now with my oval shaped, I'm going to hold down my shift key and select the picture itself. Let me go to modify tool and I'm going to select crop. There we go. There's my little granddaughter. I can do an auto trace and just keep it as an oval. But say you don't want some part of the element here. This is where that eraser tool comes in real handy. Okay, I'm going to go in and blow this up. And of course you can resize the photo right now if you want to. But I'm just going to leave it as it is. And I'm going to zoom in again. So you guys can get a real close look at this. Okay, now we're going to go over here and we're going to select our eraser tool. Okay, if you go along the edges of the areas you don't want, and you have to be careful not to go in and cut off things that you do want, so we're just going to go in and I'm going to go around this little area here and I'm just going to do this one side for this video tutorial because it will show you what I am talking about. And then I'll show you the final what it looks like because you'll have to probably just keep on going in and doing some different areas here and taking your time and getting right along the area that you don't want in your print and cut for your photo. So I'm going to stop right about here and as you can see that erases that out. The great thing about this is it makes this portion right here a separate element. So now all I have to do is select that and delete it. It saves my photo. I can zoom in a little bit more over here, go around these edges, grabbing that eraser tool again and going in here and getting these little edges out. And Like I said, this would go a lot faster in a uh, with a photo editing software program. But if you just don't have one, you can do it in Silhouette, especially with the designer software. So I'm going to go in here and clean this up a little bit more. And I would go in here um, and clean up all these little things that I see that I don't want. And remember, even if you have to go smaller, if you're using Silhouette Designer software, you can resize it down to just a pin drop. If you just want to go in there and erase a little pin area, and if you need to bring it back up, you just drag that and you can make it as big as you want, as small as you want. I just love it. And of course, as you notice, I use the outline for this. If you use the solid, it would just kind of like cut into it. But I'm going to go ahead and just erase that one more element for you. I'm going to go fit to window and say we've already done all of this area here. I want my photo larger before I do my auto trace. I can resize it like that by dragging out those corners and there we go. Now when you go to do this, you remember you do the same thing as you do any auto trace. You go to your um, trace window, you select your trace area and I can scoot this in a little bit because I don't really need it to go all around too much. Okay, I take off your high pass filter and you increase that threshold. And then I would just select the trace outer edge. There you go. Trace outer edge. Well, sometimes I wonder if this thing doesn't act up when we're doing our um, tutorials because I just did this and it worked perfectly. 
Okay, let's hit our enter. Okay, since it's not really cooperating right now, I'm going to just say, no, I don't want to save the changes to this one. I'm going to go over here and show you the one that I did. And there we go. I selected this area after I did the auto trace and I had grouped it together. To show you what I've done, I'm going to ungroup it. Move this picture of my granddaughter out of the way and you can see there is the traced area. Now I'm going to move her well actually I can just hit undo and it'll put her right back right back in place hitting that undo twice and now she's grouped again and you know that when you do an auto trace you have to go up uh, for a photograph like this I would select show registration marks that's uh, fit to page so you can see what I'm talking about and there's my registration marks here's my hatch area that you don't want to place any portion of your image on because it won't cut and if I want to make several of these oops I did forget to group them together let's hit undo I'm going to select both my image I'm going to group them together I move my little Carly up here and I want to make one for her mom her dad and other family members for a little card so I just hit the code down my control and click and just keep on moving them over or you can go to your we can select one down here and go to your replicate tool and go to row of three there we go now I'm all ready to do my print and cuts. I hope this video tutorial has helped you learn your Silhouette Studio software a little bit more and enjoy that Silhouette. It's just a great thing to have around if you like scrapbooking, crafting, creating. Have a great day everyone. See you on the Silhouette Plus forum. Bye.